Bayfront helps students Bayfront finish high school. school. And Bayfront helps students finish high school. Bayfront helps students finish high school. Bayfront helps students finish high school and become the person that families to graduate from college. A generation or two ago, you could get a job, um, carpentry or a union job, or you could find a job that would support yourself without going to college. Today, the kids can't do that. One of the things that really sets us apart from most of the other college access programs is our 10-year commitment. We start with students in the uh, summer after sixth grade, and we continue to work with them until they graduate from college. Our mission is to help as many individuals get through high school, into college, and as importantly, out of college. Um, to do that, we have to focus on more than just their academics. We have to focus on helping change the dynamic of their lives. It creates that supportive environment of young people depending on each other and believing in each other. Um, it's a long-term commitment that most other programs do not make. It is all about the children, and the children have been great, but then creating that community of people who support the children is also tremendous. I would say that Bayfront is like a second family. Um, like you walk in, you know, you walk into the building and you, and you know, you see all these people in front of you, but at the same time, you grew up with them. When you need something to help, right? When you have problems in school or at home, right? They will actually like help you and talk to you about it. We are the middle class parents that these kids don't have. Bayfront really does help people who don't like get that kind of help. Each 24 children has a case manager that serves really as the hub of that child's life. And so that case manager probably knows the child better than anyone um, outside of their parents. Um, I'm a program associate here at Bay Fund. And basically what that means is that I manage most of the adult relationships with the student. Um, part college counselor, academic counselor. We also supervise the mentors um, and keep close communication with the parents and make sure that all those people are communicating with each other about the student's best interests. Really focus on at Bay Fund is ensuring that our students are eligible for a four-year college. And we do that actually beginning in immediately by bringing their academics up, but then also ensuring that they go to an academically oriented high school. Um, I think the fact that we have so many students in college prep programs is huge. It makes our job easier because we all know that they're on college track and we don't have to battle with counselors or administration at their schools. They're academic counselors, but they're almost like academic brokers. They help families make good decisions about which schools to apply to and inform parents about all the things that they need to help support their students. We do mentoring for five years and I, you know, the mentors, our mentors who have made a five-year commitment to each of their students are phenomenal people. Being a mentor is kind of like service. You're doing a service and like I think Martin Luther King said you know the definition of greatness is service and I mean if you want to do something great be a mentor. I think most people would be a little bit surprised to realize just how hard it is for certain students to get attention in school. The classes are really big and there are not as many opportunities for students um, to get to know their teachers. And we know that teachers make a difference. So if they can have an academic experience at Bay Fund that allows them to interact with adults who support their academic goals and support their personal goals in ways that teachers might have a generation ago or might have in, in certain suburban schools, um, then Bay Fund can fill a gap. I know I was affected by mentorship when I was younger. It was important for me to have mentors around. Well, Tom, the program director here, I've known him for probably 13 years, and so he's someone that I considered a mentor um, when I was in middle school and when I was in high school. I don't think this is rocket science. I think that with enough attention, um, teaching good study habits, uh, improving skills, um, helping students and families make informed decisions, success is almost guaranteed. I can definitely say that Ernesto has definitely put a lot of positive things in me. So. Yeah, I'm definitely not the person I am if it wasn't for Ernesto. Now, in California, only 6% of Latino and African American students graduate high school eligible to go to UC, and 18% graduate eligible to go to Cal State. Our kids right now, we have 59% eligible to go to UC, which is 10 times their peers, and 87% eligible to go to state. I mean, I think the biggest thing that we work on is making sure that um, families 
and students are aware of the process. And, you know, I've worked with other programs that um, don't do as much work with parents. Their parents haven't graduated college, and most of them, many of them, haven't graduated high school. Um, it's sort of like a PTA for our program, and we've been training them to understand how school works and, and all that. But whenever they meet and I see them and I see how much they're getting out of, uh, of, of this process and how, how much they care for their students, it, it, it makes me choke up every time. Y te acuerdas también que tu mamá siempre te dice tienes que poder, si se puede, tienes que estudiar. And um, yeah, my mom, she's been there uh, pushing Push. me. Even though, like, I didn't believe in myself, like, I didn't yes. believe, like, oh, like, I could get into such a good high school, but she's been there pushing me. Math? My dad's pretty good in math, so I was asking for math. Yeah. So. What did your mommy say? Ask to your teacher. And, yeah, my mom. My mom, yeah. yes. And my mom's always been there. Like your said, teacher right. is there. Bay Fang is there, you know? The staff here is very professional, and, um, I'm very thankful my daughter is, is uh, involved in this, this, this program. They don't really speak English. All, can, all they can say is, hi, how are you? That's all. My destiny is to go to college, you know? And I have faith in going to college. Uh, my parents want me to. And like they always say, oh, that's my Harvard girl, or that's my you know, Stanford girl, and stuff like that. Yes, I'm going to college because I need education. And what the research has shown is that when the first person in the family actually graduates from college, there's a whole wake they create of uh, brothers, sisters, cousins that follow them. And so we, we end poverty in that line of the family forever when that person goes to college. Mm -hmm.